spa just turned out so pretty and I'd like to say it was worth the wait, but for me, I'm not a very patient person. So the waiting part is like super difficult, <laughs> but I'm so happy that it turned out this way. And it's funny to see like the old footage of how this came along because we've been in our house, I think about eight years now. And the style out here has changed quite a bit just as it is, you know, on the interior of our home. But in the summertime, we're outside a lot. We spend a lot of time on the patio and outside by the fountains. And I just wanted to make sure that we created a space that felt just as comfortable as it does on the inside. So last year we had this balcony redone because initially when we first moved in, it was like a torch down rooftop deck. It's like that tar stuff, it's black and it's extremely hot. I, I walked over barefoot like I am now and I walked over this black threshold right here and I burned the bottom of my foot and I told Pete, I was like, you know, we need to do something up here because I wanna spend time up in this area and I don't wanna have like third degree burns on the bottom of my feet. So we looked into different options like, you know, outdoor tiles, like faux decking, they make click together decking and things like that. And then we came across this one product that our contractor told us about that is specifically made for rooftop decks. And I picked the lightest color because I was really, really inspired by somewhere that I have never even been before. So I was watching this TV show and it was based in Greece. And I was noticing that all of the beautiful buildings there are white. And I thought it was just, you know, aesthetically beautiful, but it's actually because it's so hot there and white is heat reflective. And so I was thinking, wouldn't that be perfect for our situation up here? Because we get sun about three quarters of the day. It's a pretty hot place to be, but in the afternoon we get some wonderful shade. So we've got the lightest color on the card deck of choosing all of these different color finishes. And it's just perfect for us because it's almost like an antique white. So even though it's a more modern type look, I feel like it marries really well with our Victorian home. And plus it's actually really easy to clean. I just come out here with a car brush and some like dish soap and you just really, really lightly scrub it and you can just spray it off with the hose. So it's super durable and really easy to clean. And plus I just think it's beautiful out here. I just, I love how simple the color palette is. Even though it's like a really small space, it feels like super spacious here and it feels really cozy at the same time. The balcony is just off of our bedroom here. And I was telling Pete how funny it is because we have water like on all sides of the house. I especially love having the windows or, you know, our, our balcony door over here cracked open at night. And I just totally zone out. Like it's so perfect for a good night's sleep to have some kind of running water. We ordered this wall mounted fountain on Amazon a couple years ago and it looks like stone. It's just a fiberglass. It's like a plastic type of material, but it looks like stone and it's perfect for out here because we can't have anything with a lot of weight out here on a rooftop deck. And it's just really beautiful and peaceful to listen to. In the mornings, I'll come out here with my coffee. Afternoons, come out here with a magazine, glass of wine. And it's just like, whew, it's like the perfect little Zen spot. So I totally recommend recommend something like this if you live in an apartment or maybe you have a small rooftop deck of your own and you're just trying to you know drown out some road noise or sounds of neighbors and stuff this is a really wonderful way to do that and plus it's super relaxing the patio furniture that we had up here last year is actually downstairs. Now I'm constantly moving stuff around our house, but this patio furniture was so perfect for our house. This is from Jardina and it's really lightweight and it was perfect for us to be able to bring upstairs because we like to put our patio furniture in storage in the winter months. I wanna protect it and take care of it really well. But this set is nice because it's easy to pick up and portable. And plus it's like really, really good quality. I like that they are modern. This was kind of a different style for me to try out, but I like the combination of kind of more modern clean lines up here mixed with some of my like iron and antique looking stuff. I wanted to give you a little closer look at the furniture here, but see, isn't this cool? It's like a rope webbing and it's all hand knotted around it. These are really neat because they have super deep seats in them and nice tall backs. I've got lots of room for other cushions 
options if I want to change out for other fun colors, but they're really comfy and they were actually really easy to put together. All we had to do was attach the back to them and then the legs. I think all in all, it maybe took us an hour just to put them together. And plus, like I was saying, they are really easy to carry around. And I've realized after hauling furniture up and down the balcony and inside the stairs in our house that I need something lightweight that's super portable that we can have for years. The cushions are pretty cool. They are all zippered. I love that because I can take them off and wash them really easily. And I was out here watering plants the other day and the water like beaded up on the cushion. So there's their water repellent as well. But it, look at the back. I wanna show you the back of these because what I normally do when it rains, I'll come outside and I like, I'll tilt my cushions because if you leave them flat like this, you know, the water will collect on them. So usually I run out real quick and I just tilt them up so it kind of runs off. But with these, like if you forget to tilt your cushions, they have like a webbing on the back, which I thought is really nice that way you know if there is any water that does come through it can kind of find its way out and not be held into the cushions it's like this nice plastic breathable webbing on the underside but I just think that these turned out so pretty and I love the color palette out here I think the gray was a nice like grounding to all of the light colors I have a lot of white going on out here so I feel like the dark gray kind of grounds the space really well and I've been loving blue and white for so many years you know that but it's just kind of like a really nice backdrop to kind of let my fun pillows pop and the rug that we have out here. I really love how this all like just kind of flows. <laughs> I should have filmed this for you because this was quite the show. We put a ladder off the side of the balcony here and we had this trellis over down on the fence. You might remember in the springtime when Pete and I built this. So we had it down there with the intention to eventually bring it up here when the balcony was complete. Pete was down below on the ladder and we used it to like slide it up the ladder up here. And I was like leaning over like, like with my long monkey arms, <laughs> reaching this trellis, trying not to grab it. I feel like I pulled a muscle in my arm, but luckily the thing made it. I didn't break my back or the trellis, but it looks really pretty up here. This is from Vita Vinyl, along with the other longer planters that I have here. They're really easy to put together, and because they're vinyl, they're super, super durable. We've had our fencing and our arbor. You know the arbor with the pretty roses on it? We've had that since we moved in here, and there's been like no yellowing. I know that's a big concern with vinyl products in the sun, but they've been wonderful. We haven't had cracking or yellowing at all, and they're just great quality. This, I wanna tell you, I gotta brag on myself. The planter, it took me like three minutes to put together. It was like little click together panels, it's so easy. But with this, um, my thought is to finally have like a really nice greenery wall out here. So this is an evergreen snowdrift clematis and it's gonna have really fragrant white flowers in the springtime. But the fact that it's evergreen means that we'll have leaves all year round and hopefully <laughs> I'm gonna have less white over here because my goal is to kind of create like a greenery wall to where this feels a little bit more private and secluded and just kind of like a little cocoon up here. Plus, I think it'll be really beautiful to have things like butterflies and honeybees and stuff. Clematis is really, really fragrant as well. We had this plant at our last home together and it kind of went wild that we, we planted way too many of them. So I just have one in here because I know how much these things grow. But I just been coming out here like each day and kind of like weaving the little leaves in and out of the trellis and stuff because someday it's going to be all beautiful flowers up here. and. I'm really looking forward to that because I think it's going to be pretty. This is super funny because <laughs> for months, and I'm not kidding you, like for months, I was showing Pete this, this plant that I saw on Instagram and it was just this beautiful plant like blowing in the wind. If I still have it on my phone, I'll try and insert it here. But I was like, I have to have that plant. So one weekend we went around to like six different nurseries and I was like, do you have this plant? And I made the people at the nursery watch the video. I'm like, do you guys have this plant? Like I gotta have it, you know? And uh, they're like, no, never heard of it, never seen it. And finally I went to Farmington Gardens. So if you're in Oregon, like Hillsborough, Beaverton area, it's a wonderful nursery. And they had four left in this like whitish pink color. And and so I got two of them and they're so pretty. This is called a whirling butterfly or a guara plant. And they're just really cute. They're kind of like 
dorky little plants because they're a little lanky, but when they blow in the wind, it's really cute. Pete was laughing at me because I got influenced by a plant influencer online to go get these plants, and it's totally true. <laughs> but they're really cute, and I'm super glad that I got them. Behind the couch here, I have more of the Vita Vinyl planters, and these ones I think are about three or four years old, but I feel kind of embarrassed showing you this grass right now because normally it's really pretty. Because this is a really hot area, I wanted to get plants that were somewhat drought resistant. So this is a drought resistant waterfall grass and it's just kind of struck this year because we had to move this so many times I couldn't water it regularly like I would like to do because the planters got really heavy. So I kind of just had to get them enough water to sustain a life. <laughs> but I need to get in here and kind of prune some of the dead out so like the newer fronds can come in. But normally these are really full and they kind of go over top of the railings. So maybe better luck next year. are so cool. This is my first time ever getting an outdoor candle and I love luminaire candles inside of our house. They're wonderful for putting into like your antique candle holders or crystally ones, things that are hard to clean and you're kind of worried about getting any wax on because they're fake candles, but they look like they're real. These ones are made for the outdoors. They're plastic. So instead of, you know, like a wax that would melt in the heat, they're plastic that looks like wax, but they have timers on them. So they're on a three hour timer I set them to comment on at dusk and the little flame flickers out here and these look super pretty in the candle holders so if you want to do any kind of like romantic candles or some ambiance like out on your patio and stuff I definitely recommend checking them out too these are so pretty and dreamy out here and I love the fact that I don't have to worry about obviously a real flame out here I can kind of leave it forget it and then just enjoy it I want to show you this thing. So this isn't the most aesthetically beautiful thing over here, but it's probably the most practical item that I have. And I've had this for years. I think it's really old too. Like I think it's probably from like the 30s. 20s or 30s maybe. I don't know. It's old. <laughs> it's old and crusty and chippy. But when I worked in the antique mall, this lady came in with a bunch of stuff. That seems to be a common story, I tell you, huh? But she came in with a bunch of stuff to sell and this is in the things and I'd never seen one of these before, but it's a laundry drying rack. So it's perfect for up here because we have our washer and dryer up here on this level. And uh, so I'll come out here with, you know, delicates and things that you want to just air dry. And this little thing like spreads out so you can hang your underwear up here, whatever you wanna do. <laughs> but I like it because it just folds up out of the way and I can leave it up here all year round. So you just like push it together again, this little lever flings down and then it's like flat up against the wall. So I've seen these at antique malls and I've seen them a handful of times out of state sales too. But I just wanted to show you this because this is such a cool invention. And if you're limited on space or you just like to dry some of your goodies outside, you know, in the summertime like I do, this is just a really cool thing because it's not like this rack you have to carry around. You just like hang it, leave it on the wall and forget it. And it's just part of your world. <laughs> Try not to step on Toby. I told you this is like a relaxing spot. We all come out here and just kind of flop it. <laughs> but yeah, I find myself making like little places to rest around our home a lot, especially like these spring and summer months, you know, as the sun's moving along, it's nice to have different places to go relax outside that's not like right in the heat. And like I was telling you in the afternoon, we get some wonderful shade over here. So it's just an awesome spot to be. Oh, Mr. Toby. Are you, see, are you relaxing out here by the fountain? Yeah. Aww. Anyhow, it was definitely worth the wait. I just wanted to share our small balcony space with you and maybe give you some ideas for inspiration on your own. I think if I were to give you a handful of tips for decorating a small space, it would be to kind of pick a color palette. If you get too busy with lots of different colors, it can kind of close in your space a bit. So what I did out here, I just picked like, you know, three, four different colors. And I feel like they marry really well together. It looks like it was thought out, even though maybe it's not. <laughs> It's kind of, some things are a little bit haphazard out here. I love how this spot turned out. And I think I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna kick it out here this afternoon. So anyhow, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please make sure you're subscribed for more fun videos ahead and I'll see you in the next one.